Jaya Radha Madhava Kunjabi Hari Jaya Radha Madhava Kunjabi Hari Gopi Janna Vallabha Girivana Dari Gopi Janna Vallabha Girivana Dari Jaya Radha Madhava Punjabi Hari Jaya Radha Madhava Punjabi Hari Gopi Janna Vallabha Girivana Dari Gopi Janna Vallabha Girivana Dari Soda Nandana Prajajana Ranjana Jasoda Nandana Prajajana Ranjana Jamna Tira Vanachari Jamuna Tira Vanachari Jaya Radha Madhava Kunjavi Hari Jaya Radha Madhava Kunjavi Hari Gopi Janna Vallabha Girivana Dari Gopi Janna Vallabha Gopi Janna Vallabha Girivana Dari Gopi Janna Vallabha Soda Nandana Braja Janna Ranjana Soda Nandana Braja Soda Nandana Braja Janna Ranjana Jamuna Tira Havana Chari Jamuna Tira Vana Chari Jamuna Tira 
His divine grace, see the AC Bhakti down to Swami. She the Prabhupada ki. Ananti Gurdu Vaishnava Niki Jai. Namacharya Shri Lahari Dastakur Ki Jai. Iskan Founder Acharya Shri Lahari Prabhupada Ki Jai. Prem Sri Kaho Shri Krishna Chaitanya. Prabhu Nityananda. Shri Advaita Giladhar. Shri Vasudhi Gaur Bhakti Vandhi Ki Jai. Shri Shri Radha Krishna Gopinya. Samakum Radhakum Giri Govardhan Ki Jai. Shri Vandavadam Ki Jai. Shri Maya Parnavadam Ki Jai. Ganga Maya Ki Jai. Jimuna Maya Ki Jai. Tulsi Devi Ki Jai, Bhakti Devi Ki Jai, Soma Veda Bhakti Vinda Ki Jai, Transcendental Book Distribution Ki Jai, Harinam Sankirtan Ki Jai, Gau Premanandi, All Glorious Some of Devotees, All Glorious Some of Devotees, All Glorious Some of Devotees, All Glorious, All Glorious, Shri Shri Guru and Shri Gauranga. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya So this morning we're reading from the Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 5, Chapter 4. Text 17? Yes? Yeah. Dravya desa kalabayak Shaddhart vig vividho desho pachitai Sarvayar api kratubir yato bidesham Satakritva ija iyaja Dravya The ingredients for performing yagya Desha The particular place a holy place or a temple. Kala, the suitable time, such as springtime. Vayaha, the age, especially youth. Shraddha, faith in goodness, not in passion and ignorance. Vritrik, the priest. Vividha Udesha, Worshipping different demigods for different purposes. Upachitahai, enriched by, sarvai, all kinds of, api, certainly, kutubihi, by sacrificial ceremonies. Yata upadesham, according to the instruction. Satakritvaha, one hundred times. Iyaja, he worshipped. Translation and purport by his divine grace, Srila Prabhupada Ki. Lord Yashabdev performed all kinds of sacrifices one hundred times according to the instructions of the Vedic literatures. Thus he satisfied Lord Vishnu in every respect. Interesting, because Lord Dev, he is Vishnu, so Vishnu is satisfying Vishnu. <laughs> All the rituals were enriched by first-class ingredients. They were executed in holy places according to the proper time by priests who were all young and faithful. In this way, Lord Vishnu was worshipped and the prasad was offered to all the demigods, thus the functions and festivals were all successful. Purport. It is said, Kumara Atra Pragyo Dharma Bhagavanataniha, Srimad Bhagavatam 761. A ritual should be performed by young men, even boys, at a tender age, in order for the ritual to be performed successfully. From childhood, people should be trained in Vedic culture especially in devotional service. In this way, one can perfect one's life. A Vaishnava does not disrespect the demigods, 
But on the other hand, he is not so foolish that he accepts each and every demigod as the Supreme Lord. The Supreme Lord is master of all demigods. Therefore, the demigods are his servants. The Vaishnava accepts them as servants of the Supreme Lord and he worships them directly. In the Brahma Samhita, the important demigods, Lord Shiva, Lord Vama, and even the incarnations and expansions of Lord Krishna, like Maha Vishnu, Gavadakshai Vishnu, and all the other Vishnu tattvas, as well as the Shakti tattvas, like Durga Devi, are all worshipped by the process of worshipping Govinda, with the words Govindam Adipurusam Tamaham Bajami. A Vaishnava worships the demigods in relation to Govinda, not independently. The Vaishnavas are not so foolish that they consider the demigods independent of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. This is confirmed in Chaitanya Charitamrita. Ekala Isra Krishna Arasava Bhritya. The Supreme Master is Krishna and all others are his servants. Omigyana Tamadandasya Gyananjana Salakaya Chakshun Militam Jaina Tazmai Sri Gadavena Maha Mukram Kotava Chalang Pongan Lung Hayate Gurim Yat Kripa Tadaham Bande Shigurum Dinatalam Vanche Kapa Tribyas Chakripa Sindhub Deva Chapatitanam Pavanavio Vaishnavavio Namo Namaha Jaya Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhunityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhar Sivasati Gaur Bhaktavinda Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Ekali Ishvara Krishna, Arasabhya Bhritya. Krishna, he is the supreme controller. And everyone else is a servant. And we all dance as he makes us do so. <laughs> So yes, he's the supreme controller and we're all the the servants. Now we could either serve as uh, internal energy or we can serve as external energy. In this world, practically everybody is serving the external energy. And therefore there's a lot of, uh, a lot of problems, a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety, a lot of problems. In the spiritual world, everyone is serving the internal energy of Krishna. And therefore it's called Vaikuntha. No anxiety, no stress, no problem. As they say in Australia, no worries, might. There's no worries. In Australia there's a lot of worries, though. <laughs> like everywhere else in the world. <laughs> so, yeah. People are trying to be the master but you know, everyone is a servant just like throughout the world there's so many countries and there's prime ministers and there's presidents and they're thinking that they're the master but no they're servants just like here in California was that the governor was almost ousted right? some anxiety there and he has a, millions of people aren't satisfied with his service to the state so they almost ousted him and now it may be a little more, a little more careful now. <laughs> Try to win the favor. I think that's happened before here. When the governor was ousted, right? Yeah. And a president also, even the Nixon, he was ousted. He was kicked out. I mean, he resigned, but he would have been impeached. So yeah, yeah, they want to be the master, but actually, everyone is the is a servant. And Prabhupada used to say how even, even Gandhi, the uh, most popular person in India, the father of the country, did such nice service for the country. Yeah. Very devoted, you know, real nationalist you know, for India. But what happened? His own people, Hindus, killed him. They weren't satisfied. So if we serve Krishna, then we'll be satisfied. Mm -hmm. And it's, if, we, if we do serve Krishna nicely, then no problem. 
Krishna Surya Sama, Maya Haya Andhakaya, Yahan Krishna, Dhanai, Maya Haya Andhakaya. That Krishna, he is compared to the sun. And Maya is compared to darkness. And wherever there is the sun of Krishna consciousness, there is no darkness of ignorance. Just like a few hours ago, it was very dark. No moon. No moon. Just dark, you know, no moon night. Just dark, you know. And here in PB, I think the scientists, they didn't want to have street lights so they could see the stars. Yeah, so uh -huh. Mount Palomar. So there's, there's, I never saw a city like this. So no street lights. <laughs> so it's really dark. But then the sun comes up. Whew, everything becomes clear. You can see everything very clearly. So when we uh, have Krishna in our life, then everything becomes very clear. Yeah. Everything becomes very clear. We're the servants of Krishna. Krishna is the master. And our duty is to, is to dance according to his desire. Do what he wants. Hmm. Otherwise, we uh, stay in this darkness, this bodily conception of life. Mostly people, they, they want to serve the, the senses. Humble servants of the senses right, throughout the world. The Bhakti Thakur says, The flesh is not my own, alas, the mortal frame a chain. The soul confined for former wrong should try to rise again. Why then this childish play in that which is not my own, which falls within a hundred years, as if a rose of blown. So push on thy march, O soul, against an evil deed that stands with lust and hate, a hero be indeed. Maintain thy post in spirit world as firmly as you can. Let ma matter not push thee down, O stand, heroic man. Bhakti no Thakur, so nice, huh, these prayers and the poem is so beautiful. So this is a real hero. It's like George Washington. He's very famous as a great hero. That's why he became the president, first president. He was a, he was a general, and he was out there. He was like the real kshatriya, you know. Now the generals they sit in there, you know, in their in a room, you know, and, the, and they just you know watch it on TV or something. <laughs> but he actually went out and he fought. Uh, but actually, the real hero is the one who can conquer the senses. And what is he called? Goswami. Goswami. And one who can't conquer the senses, he's called a Godas, servant of the senses. So better serve Krishna than serve our senses. There's one... Uh, there's one pastime of Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur where he was going to give someone sannyas. And while the, I, I believe, while the sannyas ceremony was going on, his wife came and pulled him out. Said, <laughs> You're not taking sannyas. You've got you to serve the family. What are we going to do? You got your kids and wife. So he pulled him right out. And Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur, Prabhupada said he started crying because he couldn't save that soul. So he wanted to give his life to, to Krishna, but it didn't happen. And also this, uh, the original commentator on the Srimad Bhagavatam, Sridhar Swami, he uh, was married and he had just had a child, but somehow this, this urge to renounce became very intense and he wanted to just go and and take sannyas. But then he thought, but I have I just had this child, you know, how's it how are they gonna maintain? But then just as he was thinking that, he was in the room, a, a, a small lizard fell down in front of him. And he was observing this this little lizard. And then he saw that there was another little insect in the the little baby lizard you know, put his tongue out and caught this little insect. And you know, so he's thinking, wow, see, even this little 
baby lizard being maintained by Krishna. So, with that, he had faith Krishna will maintain. So he went. He, he took sannyas, became very famous sannyasi, first commentator on the Srimad Bhagavatam, famous. Prabhupada used his comments in, the, in the, his purports. Now, what's very interesting is that the villagers there, they understood the awkward situation of this mother. So they all kind of pitched in and helped out, you know, raising the child. They've heard of, you've heard of joint families? Well, this is a joint village. <laughs> they all kind of helped out to raise the child. And when he was five, he went into the Gurukul, and he became a very good student. And eventually he became like like he became the acharya of this of this area famous around many villages around there uh, and then when Sridhar Swami he went back to this village and he was very happy to find that his son had become such a a nice devotee great devotee it's amazing huh? <laughs> so depending on Krishna Chaitasa Sarvakarmani Mais and Yasimapra Krishna says, just depend upon me and work under my protection. Yeah. And this way be free of all contamination, engage in my service. So so to depend on Krishna, this is a this is a devotee. Yeah. So this verse is explaining how Krishna, he is the the supreme controller. And the purport also. So, and it's stated, Isvara Parma Krishna Satchit Ananda Vigraha. That Krishna, he is the, he's the supreme controller and he arranges for everyone else's sustenance. He's arranging for, you know, for millions of birds and animals and people. And it's like we get, we get so many nice food stuff. Krishna's arranging all this. Uh, he's known as Satchit Sankapa. That whatever he wants, it just happens. It's powerful. Just like we want to do so many things here. We, we, it's like I was speaking to Maharaj some time back, and he said, yeah, we'd like to have this apartment building here. We can have a nice ashram there. And, and this building over here, we'd like to have as a Govinda's restaurant. But it's so hard, you know, who knows, it'll even happen. I mean, God, I don't know how many millions of dollars that thing would cost. And, to have a Govinda's restaurant, something to dream about. But Krishna, Krishna, whatever he wants, it just happens. Planets appear, universes appear by the arrangement, just by the desire of Krishna. Yeah. So this is Krishna. Very powerful. Nityo nityanam chetanas chetananam That there's many eternals. There's the plural, and there's the singular. So Krishna, he's the singular, you know, eternal. And he's maintaining all the others. All the other eternals are being maintained by this one. By this one personality, Krishna. And he makes so many nice arrangements for all the entities. But we, the human beings, we make such a mess. Yeah. Just like we pollute the air, yeah. destroy forest for nonsense books and paper. And I don't know if you know, but there's, a, there's, a, uh, there's an island called the Plastic Island in the Pacific. And they say it's as big as, as, the, as the state of Texas. It's huge. Yeah, you could look it up. Yeah, you know, they call it either the garbage island or the plastic island, because it you know garbage attracts each other, and this plastic actually plastic is probably the the, the worst thing that happened to this planet because it does it doesn't uh, it's not biodegradable, you know, so just you know who knows I mean it just goes on and on you know, centuries, huh? I don't know if you could walk on it <laughs> it might sink, <laughs> but. Uh, you know, go through. You might go through it, <laughs> but it's a, you know we've created such a big mess. You know, this, uh, consumer society got to have so many things. You know, so many things we have to have. But no, all these things they don't bring happiness. But what does bring happiness 
is service to Krishna. Yeah. This is the the pleasure of the soul is to engage in loving service to Krishna. Yeah. Everyone is looking for for happiness, but they don't know that by service to Krishna one becomes satisfied. And therefore we should do things that are pleasing to Krishna and not do things that are displeasing. This is the uh, this is the surrender, yeah. To accept things favorable mm, for the pleasure of Krishna, the service, and reject things unfavorable. Anukoyasya sankalpa, pratikoyasya vajan, yakshishya titi vishvashu, gopdrutte sarnamyata. So, what is, what is very favorable for our advancement in Krishna consciousness? Helping Krishna in his mission. He comes with a mission. Who knows what his mission is? Who knows the verse? Yada yada hidarmasya glanir bhavitu bharata abhutana vidarmasya tadatmanamsa. Whenever and wherever there's there's a predominant class rise of irreligion and decline in religious practice, I descend. So he comes to to establish religious principles again. So this uh, book distribution is a is is Krishna is very fond of this book distribution because it's giving people an opportunity to hear about Krishna, to become devotees of Krishna. Yeah. It's very pleasing to to Krishna. And therefore Srila Prabhupada he said, If you want to please me, then distribute books. Mm. And Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur said to Prabhupada, if you get money print books. So he thought, oh, my guru is very fond of, of books. So when he came to America, he came with 600 hardbound books, he had cases of them, crates of them. And that's how he lived. He was distributing books on, on consignment. He would go to the, to the stores and he would leave books at the store. 26 Second Avenue, he would, he was staying there. And he would go to these stores around there and he would leave books. And people would buy them. And the early, in the early days, the youngsters, the young boys would go and they would probably would have these three books, the first canto, and they would buy. They would buy these, these books. And some of the devotees still have them big time collector's items. I mean, you can imagine how much those would go for now. You, can, you have to pay a pretty penny to get those three volumes now. So, Krishna says, Etavad jama sapoyam dehinam yadehishi prana artha diyavacha shreya achranam sada. See, there's shreyas and there's prayas. Yeah, shreyas means the eternal benefit. Whatever we do for Krishna, we get eternal benefit for that. Yeah. So he says that, that it's the duty of all living entities to give their life, prana, to give your life for others, for helping others. And the best way to help others is just to give them a book. Yeah. Give Krishna. That's the best way, that's the best uh, philanthropic activity that a person can do is giving Krishna to others. Because this is what will help people the most. There's so many uh, uh, organizations that are distributing food and, and they're building hospitals. But, but the best thing for the people to get, is to get knowledge. To get knowledge of Krishna. There's so much ignorance of who they are. They don't know. They think that they're this this bag. What is this? What's in this bag? Just obnoxious elements. Yeah? But they think they are these obnoxious elements. You know? Blood and feces and urine and liver and muscle and it's all this. No. No, this is not the reality. Everybody is a spirit soul, so we have to let people know. Yeah. 
it's like the, the, when I distribute books, people they ask. So, so what, actually, recently people have been asking me a lot. So, what have you gotten from this knowledge? <laughs> so I tell them, well, the 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 first thing that that impressed me is is that I'm not this body. It's this body that you're. This is not you. You're something different. It's gonna die, but you don't want to die. You don't want to die, right? You don't want to die. Why don't you want to die? Because you don't die. You're the soul within. You're different from this body. I'm like, oh, okay. Never thought about that. <laughs> because no one ever tells anybody about this important message. So we have to give our life to, to helping others. Some people, they give their life to the country. It's like I was saying about this heroes. Some people, they join the military and they and they fight for the country. They give their life for the country. Hundreds of thousands of people. But then, what is the result? Maybe they'll take birth again in America or something. <laughs> no. But if we give our life to Krishna, if we give our life to helping him in this mission, in this mission of spreading Krishna consciousness, there's a good chance that we can go back home because we pleased the Supreme Personality of God. Soprana, Artha. Uh, Artha means wealth. Once you give one's wealth for the spreading of Christian consciousness. Yeah. It's like when Prabhupada came, he practically had nothing. Forty rupees was nothing. He couldn't even exchange it. Now I think you could exchange rupees. Anybody know? Can you? Can you exchange rupees here in America? Yeah? Okay. Back then, you couldn't even exchange it. He had nothing. But he was dependent on Krishna. He just had faith. He had faith in the holy name, and therefore he would go to that tree, 26 2nd Avenue, or uh, that uh, Thompson Square Park. He would go and he would chant under this tree. Actually, there's a plaque there at this tree. You can see, or actually, it's not on the tree, but it's below where the Hare Krishna movement started, something like that, <laughs> where, where it all began. Yeah. So he had such faith in Krishna. He had nothing but this intense faith in Krishna and this desire of his spiritual master. Imagine going to a place where there's not one devotee. Yeah. Not one devotee. Like here, we have so many nice devotees to associate with. Imagine there's no devotee in the whole country but you. <laughs> so one devotee asked Prabhupada, Prabhupada, why, why, did, why did you have so much determination to, to spread Krishna consciousness in, in, in America? And he replied, well, I needed some association. <laughs> There was no devotee association. <laughs> so he made devotees. And then he had so much association. Nice devotees. Amazing. Amazing. So he gave his life and then so much wealth came. Actually it was predicted before he came to America that he, was gonna, he would be one of the wealthiest persons in India. But he had this this instruction of his spiritual master, which is more important, more valuable than getting great wealth. Following the instruction of the spiritual master is, is the life and soul of the disciple. So Prabhupada took the instruction of his spiritual master as his life and soul. Uh, and with that intense desire, so much happened. It's just amazing how much happened. And it's still going on all around the world. Still, people are joining the Hare Krishna movement. Like recently we had the, uh, was it the disappearance day of Hari Das Thakur? So Bhakti Nod Thakur, he also wrote a poem about Hari Das Thakur. And in that poem, we find that famous stanza. He reasons ill who say that Vaishnavas die while still living in sound. 
the Vaishnavas die to live and living spread the holy name around. So when we distribute books, we're giving them Srila Prabhupada and we're giving them Krishna. Yeah. Just like these books, generally books are made up of ink and paper. Uh, but these books that we're distributing, they're not made up of ink and paper. They're made up of, of jewels. Yeah. Because in the Bhagavad Gita, uh, Prabhupada explains in one purport that Krishna, he's compared to a diamond. And the pure devotee, he's compared to gold. And when you put the you put a, a, a diamond and a gold ring, it's very attractive, yeah, very beautiful. So when we distribute books, we're giving diamonds and gold, yeah. priceless. It's like when I distribute books now, I, they ask, "Well, how much?" I said, "Well, you can't put a price on wisdom; it's priceless." I gave my life. You can do that, or you can give some donation. You know, give, you know. <laughs> some devotees, they get a book and they give their life. So, so prana, artha, dia, we have to give our intelligence to Krishna. Yeah. Devote ourselves fully in the service of Krishna. Yeah. In the material world, uh, people, they, there's not much intelligence yeah. because uh, they're util utilizing their intelligence just how to enjoy their, their senses what a waste yeah. it's like the animals they also have some intelligence but it's just it's just used for you know, eating sleeping mating, and defending But if we also just utilize our intelligence to, you know, how to eat, sleep, mate, and defend, what a waste. Called dvipada pashu, means two-legged animals. Yes. Like Prabhupada said that the, the animals, they're running down the street with their four legs, and the human being, they're driving down the street, you know, the four wheels. Yeah. But the mentality, it's the same. Eating, sleeping, mating, and defending. So by this book distribution, we're giving people an opportunity to, to utilize their intelligence in a way that they can become elevated instead of becoming degraded again. This human form of life, it's actually a, it's a, it's a great boon. It's a great opportunity. Uh, it's described that the, that the human body, it's like a, like a ship that can help one cross the ocean of material existence. And the, the spiritual master, he's like the captain uh, on the ship. Uh, and the, the Vedic literature, that's the, the favorable winds uh, that push the ship along. Uh, and who but, the, but, but a butcher or a killer of his own soul would not take advantage of this human form of life to become elevated in Krishna consciousness. Yeah. So this is what people are doing there now. They're wasting the human form of life. It's like imagine someone, he, he climbs Mount Everest, or K2. K2 is even more difficult, much more difficult. Mountain, K2. They get all the way to the top finally make it to the top and then fall down to their death. Actually it happens. People they, they on the on the descend. They're descending and they it's also very dangerous. They fall on the way going down, they fall and die. So this human form of life it's the it's the it's the supreme form of life on this planet. So it's it's a great opportunity. But then they just waste it. People just wasted engaging in nonsense activities. So we have to uh, help them. A devotee is para dukuduki. Sees others suffering, then he gives pain. Sees others happy, gives joy. 
Sarva Sikino Bhavantu. This is the this is the desire of the devotee. This is the mission of a devotee to see everybody happy. <laughs> it's an amazing uh, mission. It's a nice it's a nice movement, you know, to have that as our mission, to see everyone become happy. Prana Arthur Diavacha Shreya Acharnam Sada. And one has to give one's words. Yeah. Speak for Krishna. And this is what's so nice about book distribution. You're constantly talking, you know, explaining the philosophy of Christian consciousness. So, yeah. This is uh, Krishna's desire that we do these four things. Give our life, give our wealth, prana, artha, dhyā, our intelligence and our words. If we do that, then now oh, Krishna is so pleased, yeah. so pleased. Yeah. And we should avoid doing things that are displeasing to Krishna. As Prabhupada said, this is Maya's kingdom. So there's so much opportunity to engage in nonsense activities. Yeah. So to avoid all that, like the plague. Anukoyasya Sankalpa Pratika Yashavar Rakshisha Titi and accept Krishna as he who will who will protect us. We have to understand Krishna will protect us. Rakshisha Titi Vishvashu Gopta Teshanam and he'll he'll maintain us. It's like there's that famous saying that Krishna he gives and he gives and he gives and he forgives. And we get, and we get, and we get, and we forget. We forget who's given us so many nice things. So we should feel some gratitude. Try to help Krishna in his mission. Uh, not everybody can go on book distribution, but at least Harinam, also Harinam, or given the holy name. So that's also auspicious. Giving prasadam. So many ways we can help Krishna in this... Uh, in this mission. So is there any... Uh, uh, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Krishna Vijaya Prabhu. Uh, may I? You may. Uh, Prabhu, um, uh, the, the verse you chose for today says that King Rishabhadev performed sacrifices in order to please Lord Vishnu. But uh, Lord Vishnu, uh, being God, he is already self-sufficient and self-pleased. So my question is, instead of using the resources of his kingdom in order to please someone who is already pleased, why is it that we do not find King Rishabhadeva going for pleasing the ones who were in need related to his kingdom, like the hungry, the homeless, etc. There's a verse that if you please Krishna, then automatically, what's the verse? Everyone is pleased? I don't remember the verse. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. 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 So if you please Krishna, then uh, automatically others are pleased. And also a devotee of Vishnu or a devotee of Krishna is also helping others. You know, just like we're, uh, we, like, I'm, like I mentioned earlier, we're, we're going out on book distribution to, uh, to please Krishna, but it's also helping others. And in India now we have we have this food for life. It's pleasing to Krishna, but we're also giving out food, helping the living entities. Uh, so, yeah, it was a, there was a Mayapur Prabhupada. He saw that the that the, the children were fighting. The, they were fighting with the dogs to get remnants from the plates that the devotees had just eaten off of. And Prabhupada started crying. 
seeing that the, the, the children were so poor that they were fighting with the dogs to get just little bits of kitri. And Prabhupada said from, from that, he said from, from now on, ten miles radius, there's, there should be no one hungry. The Mayapur uh, Mandir. So there's so much food for life. So we do that also. The, this is the kindness of the devotee. Prabhupada is so kind. <laughs> and we're trying to imbibe that kindness of giving Krishna in the form of books, giving Krishna in the form of prasadam, giving Krishna in the form of the holy name. Uh, Brahmarpanam Brahmavir Brahmagna Brahmanahitam Brahmayavatina Gantavya Brahmakarma Samadina that one who is fully engaged in Krishna consciousness is sure to attain the spiritual kingdom because of his full contribution to spiritual activities in which that which is given is absolute and that which is received is on the absolute platform. So this is uh, a devotee. We get absorbed in Krishna, giving Krishna to others and uh, absorbing ourselves in receiving everything in relation to Krishna. So automatically by serving Vishnu, we are also helping others. And we go out of our way to to help others. It's okay? Uh, uh, yes, Prabhu, it is okay. And if you allow me, in accordance with, with the answer you just gave to my question, if we do not use as a priority uh, serving uh, Lord Vishnu first, then all the other projects related to philanthropic and welfare activities will not uh, achieve success. Yes. Thank you very much, Prabhu. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Horrible. I had a comment and then a question for you. The comment was about the Food for Life program. Today is our Food for Life program and we're serving Impossible Burgers and Veggie Hot Dogs. So that program's come a long way. <laughs> and that was made possible by a nice donation from Kunja Bihari Prabhu. So... I'll okay. Very good. Thank you. Uh, the question what, I had: veg vegetarian hot dogs and what else? Impossible burgers. Impossible burgers. That's the new. <laughs> I've never heard of impossible burgers. <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> That's a. <laughs> Maybe we should become homeless. <laughs> That's the new big thing in the vegetarian industry. It's the Bay impossible Area. burgers. It's because it's so impossible. It's not real. That's the idea. Oh, I see. It seems yeah. just like meat. It seems impossible that they can get it so close. They they found out how to imitate heme, well, a plant, so it actually has the same. Oh, really? Uh, I mean, yeah. <laughs> okay. So impossible burgers and hot dogs, <laughs> vegetarian yeah. hot dogs. Uh, the satya sankalpa. It, you use that term a few times, and it's, it seems interesting. Is so is satya off satyam truth? Is that where that comes from? And then is satya sankalpa. Satya means truth. Sankalpa. The will. So, how, is that related or different to vikalpa? Are, are those col colorways? Yeah. yeah. Totally different. Okay. Okay. So, what is that idea in full? The satyas and kalpa. Satyas and kalpa. Whatever Krishna wants, it happens. This is God, it's by His desire. I mean, He doesn't just like when someone wants to, let's say, uh, some big big businessman who wants to build some factory or something. He's got to get involved. I mean, he's got to get involved a lot. You know, he's got to work to get the money, and then he's got to you know, make the arrangements. I mean, Krishna, just by his desire, whatever he wants, it just happens. Yeah. Universes come out to, by his desire. Yeah. This is God. Yeah. Inconceivable. <laughs> whatever he wants, it just happens. Wouldn't it be nice to be like that? Whatever you want, just just happens? Wouldn't that be cool? <laughs> be nice, huh? So this is God. Hey, one thing, just real quick. Javita, just yes. one thing. This uh, nice verse you quoted, "Etabha Janma Salpolyam." Yeah. The Krishna is wandering, you know, among the trees, and he prays the trees, how generous they are, and that inspires this verse. And the uh, first line, "Etabha Janma Salpolyam," this is the way you make your life fruitful. A, a human being, 
by dedicating them in the way you, you said, that our devotional lives can be completely fruitful when we use our prana, dia, vacha for uh, uh, helping have others to become Krishna conscious. Yes, thank you. Chris. Um, just following suit of, of Tyler, of a comment and a question. The comment was, I appreciated the class and then also the point that you made of just emphasizing that Prabhupada came with no association and to really kind of relish that there's there's some sincere some some real desire to to want to help us and putting himself in in a dire situation of just there's there's nothing but but his his faith and his it was nice how, how you brought it up and then you continued with it in the class so thank you and then um a question that i have is um you had mentioned it with with Paraduka Duki that a, a devotee should should feel this empathetic desire of of understanding someone's in pain and 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 wanting to to alleviate it. And when someone's happy, we should also feel happy. Um, and in previous Bhagavatam class, there is this distinction of affection versus attachment. So my question is, how do we balance um, trying to to be there and support whether it's family and friends? And seeing that there's pain and, and we, we're in a position that we can provide um, just simple relationships to, to try to, to help them and then also be able to, to provide Krishna in the form of books or in the form of, of lessons that we learn from the seniors. How, how do we strike that balance of, of is, is this our, our, our position that this person has, has come and they're in this situation and I'm in a position where there's, there's something that, that's resonated with me and I can, I can provide something? What up to what extent? And, and yes, the point of, of Krishna will maintain, but is there a position or a role that we should also try to in some way facilitate to to help and try to, to bring them back or or just offer something to, to help them in that? Well, we should try our you know, our very best to help others, whether it be family members or people in general. Yeah, this uh, as much as we can try to try to help, you know. This like there's this devotee in uh, Parameshwar. He, he he goes out like nine hours a day, book distribution. You know, he's uh, very compassionate. Hundreds of books a day. <laughs> and actually, I don't know if it's been mentioned that this this devotee uh, in uh, in Atlanta. He's uh, huh? No. Uh, Mahotsaha. He distributed 700 big books in one day. Yeah. Yeah. And $7,000 in one day collected. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. $7,000. <laughs> and 700 books. That was about a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. So you can imagine how ecstatic he must be. You, know, you just completely... You know, just <laughs> So yeah, when you when you just want to help people, you just you, you just get off the bodily conception. You just you're just a soul helping other souls. Otherwise, <laughs> how is it possible? <laughs> so it's a great opportunity to uh, to come to the spiritual platform. Also, when you go out, just trying to help people grow spiritually. Yeah. So yes. Seven hundred books a day. That's that's the uh, that's the record for America. He I heard he wants to beat the world record. The world record is nine hundred. Harinamananda, nine hundred books in one day. Well, yeah, actually, you know, I I, I found out from the person who was collecting for Harinamananda, he actually had collectors so they can do that many books. Yeah, so it, it was being some of it was being sponsored. <laughs> Many devotees don't know that, but but these but the, uh, Mahotsaha, he, he it's just him going out. Seven thousand dollars, seven hundred books, inconceivable. Bhakti Vikas Swami. Bhakti Vikas Swami. I wanted clarification about uh, in the purport. It, it mentions that um, the Vaishnava accepts the demigods as servants of Krishna. 
and um, and specifically it says he worships them directly. Um, so saying he worships the demigods directly, and then after that, then it goes into how in Brahma Samhita it says that by worshiping Govinda, the most of the important demigods are automatically worshipped, um, and then and then further says that. Uh, um, Oh, Vaishnava worships the demigods in relation to Govinda. Um, Vaishnava accepting the demigods as servants of the Supreme Lord worships them directly? Is that what you have? That is what I have in there. That he is worships wrong. them directly. It's, it's, That's not what yours wrong. says? Properly. Properly, not oh. directly. Here it's different. They changed it. Yes, they, they meaning It says I, properly in yours? Yes, because I saw it was wrong. So oh. they fixed it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> properly, oh, not directly. Oh, okay. There you go. We got our editor right here. <laughs> oh. okay. But isn't the, the gopis, they were worshipping the, the Kachyayani directly, but also with the intention properly, because the intention was they wanted... In relation to, to have Krishna. Krishna. In relation to Krishna, yeah. Thank you. It's good to have our ISKCON editor right here in San Diego. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Srila Prabhupada Keith.